Hello friends and welcome back to Frontend Pathsala. In this tutorial, we will learn how to create sidebar using draw a component of React Material UI. So without delaying, let's get started. I've created a folder MUI sidebar. Now let's go to the terminal and create our React app. Give the command npx create hyphen react hyphen app react hyphen mui hyphen sidebar followed by dash dash template and typescript. Let's wait until the command completes. Once done, let's navigate inside the project folder and run the application by giving the command npm start. So our app is up and running. Next, go to MUI.com, click on installation and copy this command. Now go back to Visual Studio Code and in a new terminal, navigate to project folder and paste the command over here. Once done, let's now install the icon material. Copy and paste it here. After the installation is completed, let's go to app.tsx file and remove these lines of code. Firstly, let's import box from core library. Next, invoke the box component here. Within the box component, let's invoke app bar component. Then the toolbar component. Now let's check in the browser. You can see the blue color header. Next, within the toolbar, we will add the icon button component. After this, let's import the menu icon from icon material. Add the menu icon within the icon button. Let's check in the browser. So the icon is not visible yet. Let's add some styling to it. In the icon button, we'll give size is equals to large, edge is equals to start, color is equals to inherit, and area label is equals to menu. Now, if we check in the browser, you can see the icon. Next, after the icon button, let's add the typographic component. Which says React MUI sidebar. Let's give variant is equals to H6. And component is equals to div to it. Let's give some space between the icon and the text. For that, in the icon button, we'll give sx is equals to mr2. Looking better now. 
Next, let's work on creating this sidebar. For creating sidebar, we need draw a component. So invoke draw a component. Before that, import it on the top. Set the anchor prop to left. In the next step, we are going to invoke few more components required for sidebar. In the top, import list. List item. List item button. And list item text. Come down to draw a component and within that let's invoke the list component. Inside this let's render a list of items. For that we'll create an array containing strings, home, about, contactors, and support. Dot map which maps over each element in the array. Now we will invoke the list item component and set the key attribute to current text which is required for updating the list. Within this, let's give list item button component. Inside this button, we'll use list item text component to display the text of list items and set the primary prop to current text. In the drawer component, just give variant is equals to permanent so that we can see the sidebar open in the browser. So you can see that our sidebar has appeared on the left hand side but there is so much spacing between the text. In list item component just add the attribute disable padding. So it removed the default padding from the list item. Next let's work on the opening and closing of the sidebar. First, let's remove variant is equals to permanent from drawer component. At the top, create a state variable. The initial value is false. After that, let's define a function drawer open. Const drawer open is equals to arrow function. When called drawer open sets the open state variable to true, indicating that the sidebar would be opened. Similarly, let's create a function to close the sidebar. Set the value as false. Now let's go to the icon button and give there on click is equals to draw your open. Why it is not opening? Let's check what went wrong. Okay, so on the drawer component we have to assign open to a prop open. Now let's check again. So now it is working fine but the sidebar is not closing if you click outside. For that in the drawer component give on close is equals to drawer close. So our code is working perfectly fine. In the next steps we will work on improving the user experience by adding an icon on top of sidebar. In our code, go to the top and import styled. 
After importing style utility, we can use it to create custom style components. Const draw header is equals to style div pass the theme object arrow function the drawer header component once created can be used like any other react component so within the drawer component we will invoke the drawer header inside the drawer header we'll give the icon button And in the top, we'll import the chevron left icon from icon material. Invoke the chevron left icon here. Let's check in the browser. So you can see the icon over here. Let's add some styling to draw a header component. Display flex. Align item center. Padding theme dot spacing 0 1. Theme dot mixins dot toolbar. Mixins in Material UI are predefined set of styles that can be easily applied to components. And lastly, justify content flex end. In the last step, remove this unclose from drawer component. And on the icon button of save run, give on click is equals to drawer close. Let's test in the browser. You can see that on click of save run icon, sidebar gets closed. And the sidebar opens on click of menu icon. We will import one more component called divider. And add it here. So guys, with this we have completed this tutorial. Thank you so much for watching. Please do like, share and subscribe to my channel. And let me know your feedback in the comment section below. Bye.